So, where are we anyways? Definitely not sacrosanct. I know you're ready. I'm brute. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flarkin' lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah! This stuff is gross! Ah! Uh, are you kidding me? Ah! Wet fur is the worst! Ah! Fuck it! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nut jobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. Saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister, and it's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. <laughs> Found Drax. Lying scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax, buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! The men are lost! Rock a little help here! Uh. <laughs> How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark isn't unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, 
We save them here. And here we are, where the Kotadi take fruit. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you. Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Kotadi? I am. <clears throat> Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kochadi are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only green. Watch out! Double floor! Phew! I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. Whoa. This place is really unstable. This cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Poor Little Fuzzy. Stir Fry, that's a good one. You've been smiling a lot more, Gamora. See, I told you being in a group would. Hi yeah! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him, and then he kills us all. Again. I spotted a little mousy hole here. Any ideas, Gamora? Only one. I don't think he can help us right now. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Drax better appreciate how dangerous this dumb plan is. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. Yo, geniuses! This thing about these old looks is sturdy. Rocket looks like we got our wrist. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, of all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff. He saved your butt. He dragged a lot of heavy things around. And for a rock. Seems to love throwing rocks. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf, 
First time we got jumped by the tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis, should we be worried about this fog? Remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Let's make one thing clear. Guardians do not dig their own graves. What? Why are you talking about graves? Or digging. Ugh, you're not hearing me. Those losers are the ones who will be digging graves. Because we're about to bury them. Who's with me? Seriously? We are! Time for the big guns! Okay. I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. Negative. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the Florkin deal with this place? There has always been a- What the floor? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. Never talk but much about I'm about these thinking things. no. Oh. What do you think, Will? You best friends? Now. What's next, Peter? 
much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave! You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come? And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks, and, uh, Crystal things. A statue that looks like a face. And more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. Found another way. Just me, or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. It's not safe. Keep focused on Drax. We need to get on those crystals, group. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Oh, there's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too. Like a... Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff! Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. 
Mantis, back in nowhere. Did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Here goes nothing! Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Lark knows what! Get us through here, Gamora. Larkin, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Oh, oh that's it. I'm going in. Larkin, blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here. Yes, but. Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, don't no, do I'm done with all the riddles. Don't mm -hmm. not, not do whatever you're about to do. Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? If the whole place collapses... Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Mm -hmm. Groot, can you tell him to stop? Did she or did she not? Rocket, don't! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. One where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! You're gonna regret saying that. Survey! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How would a gun do that? Show him! Show that! And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, to towery, Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say Oh, I did, didn't I? That's a funny sounding word. This is impossible! 
I thought I'd never see these fuckers again! I hoped I never would! an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But if we're too excited, this love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Let's do this! Officially too weird! Man, what else can this place possibly throw at us? I would rather not find out! 
For once, I agree with Rocket! Time to shred him! This is how it's done! Keep it up! We're almost through, I can feel it! If anything else comes out of this fog, I quit! You can't quit! It's in your contract! that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's something down here that's affecting my vision. I think it was that- Just how far down does this cave go? Heads up! More of them rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I can
Well, as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Um... Guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this from saving tracks. Sure, you save him while I drown. How does he even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful, like a dam. Dam what? No, it's. Yes. It's just a plant plant, not a you plant. And we ain't got much choice. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't! Rocket, don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. That's one big beanstalk. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? I was more... What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, would we get another gun? You're the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. That's the equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here? Hi
hypothetically speaking. Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Hypothetically speaking! Oh, little fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. Give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. You can try to ask him to move, but I don't think this is one of them smart plans. See? I told you. Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Hey, bug lady. Exactly how many times you see us die horribly? Oh, it's too sad to count. I always have to stop around 50. Great! That's 10 apiece! Oh, no, 50,000, little buddy. Obviously, he climbs. He don't know where to get magic beans, you big galoot. None of their business. What's to understand? I ain't a fan of drowning. What was at the top of this giant beanstalk? The castle in the clouds where a giant lived. Yeah, probably best that tracks in conscious to this. Nice shot, Peter! Oh, uh, thanks! Uh, 
actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Come Rocket, go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part of the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No. Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. Have corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. What now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. <laughs> Everyone okay? 